In today's tutorial, I'll be sharing with you a rather simple method that you can use to create amazing consistent characters for your projects, just like these ones, for absolutely free. If you're new here and you'd love to see more videos on AI tools, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also remember to like and share this video so that more people will be able to find it. Without wasting time, let's get right into it. The tool I'm talking about today is Shaker AI. Shaker AI uses the stable diffusion model and with this tool you're going to have so many safe for work models that you can actually make use of. Now, it's worth noting that with Shaker AI, you'll be able to upload and download stable diffusion tree based models and this is a feature that is currently not available on CVTI. I'm going to leave the link to Shaker AI in the description box below so you can go ahead and experience the tool for yourself. So the first thing we're going to do is create an account and you can create one using your Google or your Discord account. Next, you'll be prompted to choose your mod. So if you do not have any experience with stable diffusion, you can go ahead and choose beginner mod. So I'm just going to choose custom mod for this and then I'll hit launch. This is the Shaker AI homepage and as you can see, you'll have access to models in all these different categories including photography, illustration, anime, game and design and as you can see down here, you'll have all these different categories that you can choose from. In my case, I'll be choosing a 3D model but you can go ahead and explore their homepage and see all the available models. As you can see, all these models are absolutely safe for work. So let's go over to the AI generator. So this new window will open up and this is where you're going to be creating your images from. On the gallery side, you'll be able to see images created by other users. So if you like an image, just go ahead and click on it and you'll be able to see all the details. You can even choose to send that to the generator to create your images in the same way. On the right hand side panel, you'll see the generate area. So you can go ahead and input your prompt over here as well as a negative prompt. Next, you can choose the base model that you want to use. So if you do not like this base model, all you have to do is click on it and you'll be able to go ahead and choose a different base model to start generating with. Next, you can click on add LoRa and basically this is a model that is highly trained in a specific area. So once you click on it, you'll be able to see all the available models, the ones that are compatible with the base model that you have chosen. In my case, I'm not going to choose any, so I'm just going to leave that on blank. Next, we have the image reference. So if you want to use an image reference for your generations, just click on the plus button and you'll be able to add the image that you want to use as a reference. Next, you can adjust the available parameters. For instance, you can go ahead and increase the number of sampling steps. You can also choose to go ahead and use either a fixed or a random seed. So in my case, I'll be using a fixed seed since I want to create a pretty consistent character for this. So I'll just choose fixed. Next, you can go ahead and choose the image size that you want. And after that, you can choose the number of images that you want per generation. You can choose from one to four. So in my case, I'm just going to choose one. Once that's done, all you need to do is hit generate. Up here, you'll be able to see the number of tokens that you have. And as you can see, with Shaker AI, you'll get 200 tokens every single day. To get a commercial license for your art generations, then you'll need to get either their basic or their advanced subscription plans. With this button over here, you can choose between custom mode and beginner mode. So this is the beginner mode and this one is the custom mode. On the history tab, you'll be able to find all your image generations over here. On the tutorial tab, you'll find a very detailed document on Shaker AI. So if you have any question, you can just go through this document and most likely your question will be answered. Up here, you'll be able to see a number of features that you can use to edit your generated images. For instance, we have the in-paint feature that allows you to change any part of the image. Next, we have the upscaler that lets you upscale your generated images. We also have the background remover and also the remover that allows you to remove any portion of the image that you do not like. Next, you also have the crop option as well as the outpaint option. All these are features that you can use to edit your images. Now, let's go ahead and create our first images. Now, I have input a prompt over here and I've also added a negative prompt. I've also chosen this 3D model as my base model and as you can see I've increased the sampling steps to 50. I've also included a fixed seed. You can choose any number as your fixed seed and for the number of images I'm going to have that as one. 
So now I'll just hit generate. Now here are some images that I've been able to create. Basically, all you need to do is input a prompt that describes the character that you want. Once that is done, all you need to do is just keep changing the part of the prompt that describes what the character is doing. It's really as simple as that. Now let's go ahead and just change this part over here. With Shaker AI, the image generation is pretty fast. So let's just go ahead and see. Now this is our new image. And as you can see, the character that you're getting is pretty consistent. It's pretty much the same character. As you can see, the only thing that I'm doing with this prompt is just changing this part of the prompt that tells us what the character is doing. That is the only thing that I'm changing. So it's really as simple as this to create your consistent characters with Shaker AI. Now let's generate our character looking all sad and crying. And as you can see here, she is very sad. Now, if you want to download the images that you've created, all you have to do is click on the image that you want to download and you'll see the option to download your image. And it's really as simple as that. Next, let's go ahead and test these smart features. The first one is the in paint. So we'll just click on the image that we want. And next, you're just going to click on in paint. Next, you'll be able to choose the part of your image that you want to change. For instance, let's go ahead and choose the hair. Let's go ahead and change the color of her hair. So we're just going to click on the hair. Next, you're going to change the in paint prompt. And with this, you're just going to say green hair, for instance. After that, we'll just go ahead and click in paint. So now here we have our character with green hair. So it's really as simple as that. If you want to change any part of the image that you have, all you need to do is click on it, click in paint, and you'll be able to change the part that you do not like. Next, you're going to test the remove background feature. So with this, all you have to do again is just go ahead and choose the image whose background you want to remove. So we've chosen this and just click on remove background. And as you can see, the image is already been processed and the background has been removed. Now we can exit the editor and next you're going to choose an image to upscale. So let's hit on upscale. After that, all you need to do is choose the level of upscaling that you want. So I'm just going to choose 2x. Next, you can go ahead and choose the strength and the style that you want. So in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and choose 3D. So I'm just going to choose 3D from here. And after that, all you need to do is hit upscale. Again, our image has been upscaled. And if you like the upscaled image, all you need to do is hit send to canvas. Finally, let's explore the remove option. So let's go ahead and choose an image that we want to remove something from. So let's choose this specific image. Now I want to remove the red mark on the t-shirt. So I'm just going to select the portion of the t-shirt that has the red mark. Once that is done, all you need to do is hit remove. So it's really this simple to use Shaker AI. You can go ahead and test it out for yourself. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section as well. And thanks for watching. Thanks for being here today. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.